Hey guys, it's Ken and Paul from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Paul food review just for you. How you doing, Paul? I'm doing very well, thank you. Awesome. We just came back from the Adirondacks weekend. Yes. We went, did a huge hike up Mount Marcy, burned like four, over 4,600 calories in the day. That day was 5,300 and something calories, I think, wasn't it? 5,300 calories? Yeah. But it was 53,000 was... steps. Okay, maybe I was confused. Yeah, you're, I it's 53,000 steps, 30 kilometers, um, 11 hours, and 11 and a half hours it took us to do this huge climb. Torture. Of torture, and our legs are still sore. But uh, on the way out, we're in Malone, or? Yeah, we're in Malone. Malone, uh, New York, and there's a Burger King here. So uh, people have been asking me uh, to do the, the Impossible Burger. Which and is so, impossible. Which is impossible. <laughs> so Paul and I are gonna buy a Whopper each. We've got our waters. We're trying not to overindulge in pop and french fries, so. We're just gonna grab a couple of the Impossible Whoppers and then tell you guys if we like them or not. Thanks for stopping, how can I help you? Hi, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? All right, uh, can I get uh, two Impossible Whoppers, please? Would you like cheese on those? Do you want cheese on them? Of course. Yes, please. Okay. And that's it, thanks. 15.53. Thank you, 15.53 US dollars. Hello. Oh, there you go. That's heavy, oh, man. That is heavy. Thank you. You too. All right, people. Let's park it. All right, guys. We are parked. Paul, do the unveiling. I'm, What's I'm, that side? It looks like Halloween on this side. Two Impossible Whoppers are thirteen eighteen American. Then they added the cheese, so another dollar twenty for the cheese. So that's about forty-five Canadian. That's for forty-five dollars <laughs> Canadian. All right, Paul. Let's do this. Let's see what's did in she, here. Did she give us napkins? She did. All right, seatbelts off. Oh. It's gonna look like doofuses. I wanna look at my shirt too there. Oh yeah, so look I at can... Paul's shirt. Show it, stretch it out so people can read it. Roasted my nuts. What? <laughs> I guess I didn't read the shirt properly when I bought it. <laughs> I just like the, the squirrel. All right, so. I the... gotta, you're gonna have to put this somewhere so you can throw your garbage in. Like yeah, a, like we'll a... do it eventually. Ken just throws it at me. All right, there's the impossible whopper. So, so what, this is a, what makes this impossible? What's this all about? It's a plant-based I mean, burger. Plant-based? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was getting a you thought you were meat getting, based. I should have told. When it said impossible, I was like, it's going to be like impossibly large or like something or Paul spicy. Paul had no or, idea. What I had no idea. I am. There's no advertising for this kind of stuff in the in the uh, in Canada. Yeah. So I hadn't heard about it or knew what it was, and mm. so I'm eating a plant-based burger. Yes, you oh, are. I'm looking forward to this. Not. <laughs> yes. people, I, I think people have been saying that it's pretty pretty good. Let's Although it, uh, let's it, do a close up of that. There you go, people. It looks like a regular uh, it does. patty. It does. It looks like a looks like we're eating a regular burger. Regular beef patty, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice and close. Toasted bun. Cheese. Cheese. Lettuce. Onion, lettuce. Tomato. I hope there's a pickle in there. It smells like a Whopper. Tastes like a Whopper. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see any difference. Well, that's greasy. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the one. Um, the one the element that's missing is is Whoppers have that little bit of a grease to it. What? I wish you wouldn't have said it was plant based. Mm. And then just let me eat it. I'll be like, okay. I might be trying to figure out what's the impossible part. Because it's not spicy. I'm not overly huge. I didn't know that. Paul didn't know that. Um, my comment would be, if, if I didn't know, I'd be like, this is a really dry, the patty's dry, you don't have that fat mm. content. But, when I bite it, it has a texture of meat. Looks like meat. Mm -hmm. Tastes like meat. They have the same grilled flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So, however they did that, Without actually having beef in it, it's beyond me. Well, because the Beyond Meat burgers have that beet juice, so it looks like blood. Mmm. But it has a, a weird taste to it. Yeah, all the all the stuff in Canada I've tried so far has like a little bit of a weird flavor to it. Not that it's bad. 
It's just different, right? I don't think I've tried a bad plant-based thing. It just tastes different. And as long as you're not trying to compare it to beef and stuff. But when they make it a beef, make it look like a beef patty, then you have to compare it. But I could see if someone was had switched to go vegetarian and sort of craved having a burger. Right. This is probably the closest. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm kind of shocked how. And I'm not sure if this, if everything else is vegan based. Obviously, you couldn't have the cheese on it. All the veggies are fine. Uh, I'm not sure about the the sauces. Um, yeah, because yeah, mayonnaise, mayonnaise has is egg. So unless it's um, yeah, so you wouldn't have. You'd have to take off some of some of the sauces and find other sauces to replace it with. And I'm not sure if this bun is vegan, so I doubt it. What do you think, buddy? It's actually pretty damn good. I'm, I, this is all I'm going to eat. We basically had breakfast about an hour and a half ago, and uh, I'm still eating. <laughs> I'll have one more bite. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to bite this part which has the pickles in it. I know you guys love when you when I eat pickles. I'm still trying to catch up on the calories we burned on Saturday. <laughs> and it is now Monday. And we didn't do much yesterday. Mm. I'm going to eat the rest later. Hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'd say they've done an excellent job because I'm fooled. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I enjoy like, it. I, like I said, if I was eating this burger, I'd be like, it's a little, it seems a little dry, the patty, but because it's not meat. I would love to have tricked you, but I didn't know. I thought you already knew. Well, so you'd like it enough, would you like to give them a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to all the people that love to watch our videos at one o'clock in Wait, the morning? Scratch. Sniff. Sniff. The rest, the is, rest mine. is mine. <laughs> and there's your one o'clock in the morning bite. Mm. Nice. All right, guys. On my rating scale, I'm going to rate first because his mouth is full. Uh, on my rating scale, I'm going to give the Impossible Burger a would recommend. Anybody who's trying to cut beef out of their diet or can't eat beef for health reasons or whatever, uh, I'm not sure if there's cholesterol in this. There's probably a little bit of cholesterol, possibly from definitely the cheese. Uh, and the bun might have some cholesterol in it, I guess. I, I'm not 100% sure. But the patty has nothing in it that I know of for cholesterol. And it's probably ha They're usually high in sodium. This seems a lot lower in sodium. Yeah. So when you have a burger, you don't get that. Hmm. It's all these, so it seems like... Um... But what I've, what I've discovered with some of the plant-based things is they... To get the flavor mm. up, they put more sodium more into it. Yep. And uh, anyway, so on my rating skill, guys, I'm going to give it a would recommend. Anybody who wants to try it, give it a shot. I, oh. would, I would recommend it too. Yeah? I wouldn't say go out and get it now. But if you're a vegetarian and you're craving oh, yeah. a burger, I'd be like, go get this right now because this is pretty This is pretty good. All right, guys. Uh, if you love this, well, first of all, thanks, Paul, for joining me for lunch. And yeah, having, having, my face. having such an awesome mm -hmm. time in... Uh, and Lake Placid, so uh, thanks for all that. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. It is somewhere on this page. And if you want to show your support for Paul and I doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding, ding. ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul food review. Ken and Paul out. Boop. Boop. Just Paul and I coming back from the Adirondacks. What? What? You gotta show off my nuts. You gotta show off your nuts. Hey, man, that guy's nuts. Grab him. Hey, guys, it's Ken from... Oh. I want to eat bologna. <laughs> this guy's doing a food review too. <laughs> Boop! <laughs> the food flies out of his mouth. Oh, you did give me a. Luckily, the onion didn't hang out of my nose. Yeah. That would be a little embarrassing. A little bit. Oh, God, mine. <clears throat> Things happen. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.